All right, in today's video, I'm here to upgrade this 14 inch Dell laptop, which happens to be my nephew's laptop. And he tells me that this is running slow and he has to take his online classes and all of that. So I wanted to upgrade this for him so he can use it with ease. Let's see uh, how this looks from the inside and let's find out if it's a difficult thing to do or if it's an easy upgrade. Let's find out. What's good you guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Deep and this is where I do a lot of DJing and tech related tutorials tips and tricks to help you become a better DJ and to help you get better at using technology so if you are new here please consider subscribing so I've said this in the past that upgrading a laptop is actually one of the best ways to add additional power to your laptop if your laptop is old and if it's running slow chances are that it is because it's using an old hard drive and a lot of things are accumulated i've already made a video about how to speed up your windows computer in 2021 and if that is something which is still not supporting the next step after that is doing this so today i'm upgrading it with a bx500 uh, ssd from crucial and a 4 gb ram this has a 2 gb ram i'm gonna upgrade this with a 4 gb ram Apart from that, I'm also going to create an external hard disk because the hard disk which is inside of this is going to come out and I'm going to use that as an external hard disk. Let's go. All right, so I started the upgrade process by removing the battery. And that's when I noticed that there is one screw holding this slide cover. At first, I thought this is where the RAM is and I thought to myself, wow, how convenient. And removing the cover revealed the RAM and the hard disk, making this extremely easy for the end user to upgrade. So if you have a Dell Vento 14, upgrading is going to be super easy. So I removed the old 2GB RAM and installed the new 4GB RAM from Crucial. If your laptop holds a DDR3L RAM, then you can only replace it with a DDR3L RAM. So make sure you know which RAM to buy before placing the order. A quick Google search can help. Up next is the hard disk. It was as easy as removing the screw that was holding it in place and then sliding it out. This is a mechanical hard drive and it was covered with a plate and a protective sheet so I removed it and I kept it aside for our new SSD. This is a crucial BX500 SSD for which I added the plate and reversed the process. And that's it. So if upgrading the RAM and SSD was your only task, you're pretty much done right now. All you need to do now is format the hard drive and install the operating system and you are good to go. But since this laptop is old and my nephew mentioned it was running slow, I decided to take it apart and give it a good clean from the inside. Mainly the fan, cause that's what heats the laptop resulting in slow processing power. Taking this laptop apart was no easy task. I had to remove 15 screws of different sizes and a lot of prying here and there. I also had to remove the keyboard and many ribbon cables connecting the components. Slowly but surely, I was able to get inside. I gave it a good clean and also cleaned the fan, which was the main reason to take apart this laptop. I also decided to remove the motherboard so I could clean it furthermore from the other side as well. After spending a good amount of time cleaning, I started the reassembly process. Starting with screwing the motherboard in place and connecting the ribbon extension for the USB and card reader on the right. Reinserting the CD drive, I also cleaned the top cover and then connected the speaker's cable before reinstalling the top cover. I then installed the Wi-Fi dongle and screwed that in place. After that, I reconnected the motherboard ribbon cables and clicked the top cover in place by pressing it down from all sides. I then cleaned the keyboard and installed that as well. Once done, I reinserted all screws, installed the hard drive and RAM. I also used a small magnet to hold the screws in place. That's a tip for you all. And that's it, sliding in the cover and screwing in the last screw before installing the battery. Giving it a courtesy clean and we are done. Pressing the power button to check if it works and it turns on. Perfect. Alright, so it turns out that this was one of the easiest upgrade possible. Removing the hard disk and installing a new one and upgrading the RAM was one of the most easiest things on this laptop. However, Opening the laptop completely to clean the laptop from inside the fan and the motherboard was a very difficult process and that is what took the real time. Otherwise, if you just have to upgrade the RAM and the hard disk is just one screw and it's as simple as that. 
Now talking about this old hard disk, as I said, I'm going to convert this into an external hard disk. These are called, uh, you know, hard drive enclosures, very easily available. This one costs about 600 rupees. And the reason why I like this one is because this has a clear body look. To install this, it's very simple. You just have to slide it out like that and it opens up. And then you can use this to add some cushioning. Otherwise, all you need to do is take this hard disk, match it with the ports and then slide it in. And that's it. Now this is your new hard disk. After that, you can use this to add a cushion and then slide this back in. That's it. And that becomes your brand new external hard disk. But now it's time for me to install the Windows operating system in this. I'm going to install Windows 10 and then I'm going to check all the other things. I'm going to install all the applications that my nephew needs and then this laptop will be ready to function. I'm 100% sure that the improvements that I'm going to get all thanks to the hard disk is going to be beyond what this laptop was already able to do. Upgrading the RAM was not too much of a difference because it was just from 2GB to 4GB and this laptop is an AMD laptop and 4GB RAM is the only possible upgrade that this can do. So that is the maximum I could go for. But the hard disk is now an SSD and that is what is going to make things a little bit snappy because things are going to load faster, it's going to boot faster and it's gonna function faster. So I always recommend that if your laptop is running slow, check if you have a hard disk or an SSD. If it's a hard disk, I recommend you get yourself an SSD and there will be a definite improvement in speed. All right, now you can see that the Windows installation process has begun and that is what I'm going to do now. That's all for today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video and that you guys got to learn something new. If you guys did, please don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with your friends. And while you're at it, it'll be nice if you can click on that subscribe button and click on that bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. That's been it. My name is Deep and I will see you guys in the next one. Happy to help.